Good evening, everybody. It's about 5.20 my time here in Boise, Idaho. Coming on today on what feels like the last day of summer. It kind of got a little bit cooler today. We have really kind of hot, deserty sort of weather in the summer. And today was the last day that our neighborhood pool was open. So I was down there with my kids. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments what your day was like today. Um, today we're going to talk about the hunger scale, which is a great simple tool that you can use to really stay on track, whether you're trying to lose weight or whether you're trying to, um, maintain weight or just kind of, um, keep your food mindset and track so that you stay healthy. Um, and I'm going to get to that in a second, but if you're watching me live, please drop a live. If you're watching on replay, please drop a replay. This really helps Facebook push things up to the front so other people can see this important information. Um, we also, I'll talk about this again at the end, but on Monday we have, a, tomorrow, we have a group program and a personal program starting. It is not too late. We have a couple spots left for both of those. Um, so if you want to hop on a call with us tonight or tomorrow morning to talk about what that sounds like and how that could help change your life, um, drop the word call into the comments. Um, otherwise, let's get down to business here. So I think I'm hoping I'm going to be able to share my figure out how to share my screen so that I can show you something here real quick. Um, let me get to that real quick and make sure that I have everything that I want open for you. There we go. Where'd my browser go? There you go. Okay. Um, okay. So the hunger scale, this is a big deal. Um, this is a tool that I use with my clients all the time that really has really changed uh, the way that we all function and how we think about when we should start eating and when we should stop eating. So, oh, the other thing I was going to say is that yesterday <laughs> on my live when I decided it might be okay to have my six and eight year old in here and they were like all cute, like bombing in here. They were in the middle of the live jumping on my bed behind the computer and yelling about diarrhea. So today <laughs> I have locked them out <laughs> so I can be a little bit more serious. But if you didn't see that, you should definitely go check it out. Okay. One of the things that we're gonna be working on here in the next few weeks is intentional choices. In fact, I have, I think it's probably gonna be like a two hour webinar coming out probably end of next week that you guys can join live or on replay about mindful eating and really the importance of how to do that, but also kind of um, why it's so important to sustainable health. Anyway, so we're gonna be working on that for the next few weeks. Um, the fact that you may not control your circumstance, but you can control how you react to it, okay? This is important, not just with food, but everything else. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our intentional, unintentional choices regarding hunger. So first off, let, let me assure you, we're gonna talk a ton more about this, um, about hunger physiologically, what it is and what it's not um, in upcoming lives. And also, if you go to the Curate Your Health Facebook, there's um, there are units in there in that group um, that I have a ton of this stuff already written out if you just wanna read and not watch me blabber on. But um, but basically, like it's really important to figure out how we're misinterpreting and misaligning the sensations of what we think our hunger is. But for now, we're just talking about feeling the circumstance of hunger and how to mitigate our response to it with a simple tool, okay? Your body is making physiological changes all the time. It's reacting to and basing those physiological changes on what type of energy it has been fed and what is what it is requiring to put out for energy and what state the hormones are in due to sleep, water, insulin, et cetera, right? This is the circumstance at the moment that you can't control, right? The circumstance is external to you. What's happening in your body at the moment is the circumstance you can't control. What you can do is notice the hunger circumstance and choose your thought, feeling, and action that goes with that circumstance. So one tool that you can use is our hunger satisfaction scale. You can Google them and you can find a, a million different visuals for this. And please do. Again, you can find it in the units tab of the Curate Your Health um, Facebook group if you want my copy. Um, my, As a humorous aside, while I figure out how to share my screen, my um, my my toddlers now now not quite toddlers um have been using this forever um okay is that gonna work share 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 screen okay let's do an application window here we go okay i'm assuming you guys can see this 
Um, so you can see here the minus 10 to plus 10. I'm going to pull something out here so I can. All right, are you guys seeing that scale graph? Well, I... There we go. Are you seeing that? Yes, OK. Um, so let me kind of speak this to you a little bit. It is really small, isn't it? Hold on a second. Can we do that? All right. Um, so you can find a, a million different one of these like you do, like like I said, and, and look at them because they're all a little bit different. But this is the way that I um, work this is like basically um, like it's a half circle that goes from ravenous minus 10 on one side to like painfully full plus 10 on the other side, right? So imagine what you feel when you're ravenous, right? You're like lightheaded and nauseated and cranky and short tempered and you probably want grease and sweets, right? So this is your hormones reacting to make you feel this way. So like stop, notice how you're feeling, choose what to do with it, don't just react, right? That's always my refrain. Imagine what like you'd feel like um, when you're painfully full, right? Slow, sleepy, unwell, nauseated, bloated, right? So stop again, notice how you're feeling, choose what to do with it, don't just react. So our goal today is to start using this hunger scale to decide when to start eating, when to stop eating, and to not eat when we aren't in that range, right? So um, I kind of choose well, for my kids, it's like minus five and plus five because it's just easier because it's 10 and 10. Um, but when a lot of people use these um, scales and as we use the scale is kind of using a minus four and a plus four. So we're avoiding kind of rash food choices and emotional physiological upheaval that we get with that negative 10 to minus five, as well as the self deprecation that comes from the plus five to the plus 10, right? So what does it feel like to be at that minus four? I'd like to eat sooner rather than later. It's not an emergency, right? Does that sound familiar? Um, what does it feel like to be at a zero? Like totally fine and neutral. What does it feel like to be at plus two? I'm not hungry. I could probably still like go on a run or like chase the kids. What does it feel to be a plus four? The hunger is gone. I can walk around the block, right? Does that make sense? Someone give me like some loves or likes or something. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you for that. So um, we're going to we're working to eat from that minus four to plus four. So it keeps you eating, you know, maybe three meals a day with no snacks. Some people do better with a minus two to plus two, but they have to be eating more frequently, which shifts insulin levels. And I don't really recommend that. Um, we need vacations from our insulin between our meals. So this isn't for everyone. Um, but I think it really can help. It lets those insulin levels really drop between the meals. It lets your cortisol adjust. Your body stores to be used for energy. Okay, are you guys here? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. That was very weird. You just watched me um, tech sleuth StreamYard while apparently still live. Um, it's almost as good as the time when I thought I stopped the broadcast and instead I sat here and like typed and did work for 10 minutes. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we were talking about letting your insulin drop between meals, your cortisol adjusting, body stores using for energy consumption instead of glucose. We're going to get into all of that in other lives for sure. But um, once we get dialed in with this hunger scale a little bit, like say like a week or so of consistency, it's pretty easy to decide if it's time for your meal or not. 
and it's easier to avoid snacks, which is the problem, right? Um, you also clear your mind a little bit, so you're able to analyze the hunger circumstance you're in, right? Is it body hunger? Is it emotional hunger? Is it social uh, hunger? You know, what what is that? Um, and then we can figure out, you know, whether we're making the when and the what of food in the right way. Like, are we bored, distracted, associating with alcohol or an event? Or is it like heart hunger, right? Um, and then you can make a choice about fixing the actual ultimate cause of the hunger. But when it comes to this simple tool, because I'm getting off track, which happens, um, we want you to be starting to eat at a minus four and stopping at a plus four. Does that make sense? Um, eat when you feel hungry around that minus four. Stop when you're feeling satisfied around that plus four. You, that means you've had enough food. Um, and when you're at that minus four to start eating, you're not too hungry that you're not able to make good decisions about what your choices should be. Being mindful about what your hungry re hunger really is and choosing how to feel about it and what to do, super important. Um, thank you for sticking through with me for some um, technical difficulties. Um, my kids have managed to be locked out this whole time, which is amazing, so I'm gonna go feed them dinner. Um, uh, remember, um, if you want a call with us um, to talk about our group and personal programs, um, personal program starts every Monday. We have another spot available for that tomorrow. Um, that means 12 weeks of daily podcasts on weight science and mindset around food with a personal mindset coach and a personal weight coach. So like huge value. Uh, it's basically like a university level course. Um, the group program, they usually start every few weeks. We do have one starting tomorrow and I think we have, my team will have to remind me, but I think we have two spots left, um, which will be super fun. Um, yeah, um, that's basically the same thing, all the same information you're just sharing a coach. Um, so drop us a note if you want to, us to get in touch with you tonight or tomorrow morning to make that happen for you. There's no better time to change your life than now. Um, otherwise, um, this is generally cravings month has been my um, my theme this month. And so we have a video training and an ebook. Both of those are free. If you want either of those, drop cravings into the comments and we can help you with that. Um, next month, we're going to be doing this mindful, um, celebration around eating. Again, I'd love to have you join us there. I hope you enjoyed this and, um, we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.